Do you know of any areas where farmers thrive and become wealthy by breeding extremely dangerous creatures? Crocodiles, scorpions, or venomous snakes are not only life-threatening, but also constitute the primary income source for many farmers. Notably in Indonesia, there exists a unique tradition of snake processing. We invite you to discover the most unique snake processing area in Indonesia. In a small village in the West Java province of Indonesia, traditional snake slaughterhouses have been developed, producing snake meat and skins. Traditional snake skin factories churn out hundreds of snake skins daily, serving as a crucial livelihood source for the local populace. Snake skin serves as the primary raw material for various products such as bags, shoes, wallets and belts. The materials for making snake skin include all types of snakes captured in the wild or bred on farms, encompassing both venomous and non-venomous species. Snakes are captured in the wild when they are about three to four years old. Villagers partake in this activity and get paid for each snake they capture. Organized groups of fishermen often lay traps, nets and hooks in forests and grasslands, targeting both adult pythons and other smaller snakes. Some areas also cultivate snake farms to supply raw materials to processing facilities. Daily, these farms can supply hundreds of standard snakes to centralized snake processing locations, helping to conserve snakes in the wild and prevent significant population declines. At centralized snake processing facilities, snakes are sorted by size and type. Larger snakes fetch a higher price. They are then placed into large containers or tanks filled with water because this method results in a large number of snakes dying without pain during the slaughter process. Each snake's skin is separated from its meat. All these steps are manually performed by the locals. The skin must be clean and undamaged to ensure quality. After separation, the snake skin is cleaned and then placed in the drying and storage area before merchants come to purchase. When these snake skin panels reach Western fashion houses, their prices can soar up to $4,000 each. The high prices and profits have enticed many localities to engage in the snake processing industry, thereby generating a significant number of jobs for Indonesian workers. The snake farming industry employs approximately 175,000 workers and around 15,000 snake catchers. This is considered the largest raw material processing and supply region. After processing, snake meat is utilized as food and can be sold at local markets. Local residents consume snake meat for similar reasons to other meats, namely to provide essential protein for the body. Not only is snake skin highly valued, but Indonesians also process snakes by drying them whole. They coil each snake's body into a circle and place it in an oven to dry. After one day, the snakes become dry and hard. This is the primary ingredient used in Eastern medicine and is primarily exported to the Chinese market. Dried snakes have been utilized in many traditional medicine methods worldwide. They are deemed beneficial for regulating blood circulation and are also used to treat conditions like aral gear syndrome. Perhaps everyone knows that snake venom plays a crucial role in modern medicine, but few are aware that snake bile is also considered an important component in traditional medicine. Carefully selected and dried for long-term preservation before being sold or exported. Not only famous for snake processing, Indonesian people are also known for making python skins, a skill passed down from generation to generation. Adult pythons can weigh up to 200 dalda bee and live freely in forests where local people hunt them because each python skin is much more valuable than a typical snake skin. At python skin processing facilities, work is mainly done by hand. After the pythons are deceased, water is pumped into their bodies to facilitate the skin separation process. Every step is meticulously carried out primarily by experienced individuals. After separation, python skins are placed into a drying oven and eventually dyed according to the desired style and shape of the final product. Each large python skin can sell for $10,000.
thus attracting a lot of local workers. If you've enjoyed exploring these ideas with us and want to stay updated on the latest content, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with friends and family who might also find it interesting, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us to continue creating engaging content and keeps you connected with the latest trends, ideas and innovations. Thank you for watching.